His haircut is better than mine. Okay. It's still better than mine. Yeah. Bugs the Rocker. Happy yeah, to be here. Bugs the okay. Rocker. What's up? Yeah. Man, what's up? Y'all hearing me now. Peace and blessings, man. Glad to be up here in Indy, man. Rocking with the real. You know? That's what it is. That's yeah. what it is. So look, man, you're coming from Cincinnati, man. Yes. Right? Which part of Cincinnati? Man? I grew up in uh, Northside. Northside is actually like not like South Side, North Side, West Side. It's, right. it's actually a community called North Side and uh, uh, these little projects called Ash Tree. You know okay, I mean? yeah. okay. Talk a little bit about your upbringing there, man. I know Cincinnati is, you know, they've had some revolutions. Yeah. Some, you know what I'm saying? Some upright talk. You know, talk yeah. about uh, how that's uh, impacted city, you. you know? The city is a jungle, man. Uh, it's wild out there. You know, we we in the news right now. You know, um, you know for you know. A cop killing, you know what I mean, an unarmed black man. Right. And it's, you know, this is not the first time it happened, but this is the first time a cop has been convicted. Um, well, they're trying to convict him now, like, right. you know, of actually uh, committing murder. Right. And this, the guy who died is actually one of my OGs, man. So mm. it's, it's real crazy, man. Like, a, wow. Yeah, so it's, mm. you know, it's just not like, you know, it's, it's real deep, you know what I'm right. saying, right it's now. So my homie Sam, so RIP to them and everybody. You know, in the struggle because it's happening all over the world. But you know, Cincinnati is what it is. You know, you know, people. You know, we publicized a lot through a lot of negative stuff. You know, we on the first forty-eight a lot and all that negative stuff. But right. there's some good stuff that happened in Cincinnati. It's getting better. We just had the All Star game. You know, I came up from humble beginnings, like you know most of our people do. So, you know, man, I've been rocking on the mic for a while. You know, since I was six years old, my mom bought me a harmonica. I ain't rocking with it. She wanted me to be the next Stevie Wonder. <laughs> okay. It wasn't happening. But, you know, I just played more instruments. And, you know, I got into the poetry, which, of course, led to um, the hip-hop. We weren't allowed to do hip-hop in my house, as my uh, mom and my big mama would say. So I had to come at it from a different angle and start, you know, having a lot of substance in it. And then, you know, over time, they kind of, you know, rocked with me, you know, and got the city behind me. And now we're making some Moves, yeah, know. make it major moves, yeah, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Major. You just got off tour with Talib Kweli. That's the OG. Yeah. That's the Kweli. How was that, man? Man, that was wonderful, a blessing, man. It, to be in um, that situation, you know, with an OG and a legend like that is a beautiful thing. I'm actually, uh, we got a, uh, you know, joint venture deal with Monopoly Management. Uh, with Monopoly, his, with shout out my dog. Yeah, yeah, that, that's that's my homie. Uh, he here. Uh, you know, so we did a little business with Talib. He's been a long time supporter. Right. Um, I had a couple major deals on the table. I wanted to keep it indie because, you know, my, my fans, you know, they like that raw hip hop. They like what I bring. So, right. you know, if I want going to be able to have full, you know, control, control creatively, right. then, you know, we wanted to do do the indie route. You know, we, we think we got it like that. It's been working so far. I've been selling out shows all across the world, even overseas yeah. in Amsterdam. I headlined okay. and sold it out. Venue of five thousand, so sold you know, we rock. Yeah. Talk about that, man. How was that? How was that, man? Was that, was that your first? Was that first, your first sold first out show? Time, first time, no, not my first sold out, but my first time overseas. Okay, period. Right, and I sold it out. Never been there. I didn't know nothing about just yeah. Europe. And period. Yeah, and I went over there at a place called Paradiso and sold it out. First time ever overseas. Yeah, getting my getting some stamps in, in my passport. Getting, <laughs> That's right. Getting it tattooed, as my OG would say. That's what it is. And, um, it was a beautiful thing, man. You know, I didn't didn't expect it at all it was definitely you know overwhelming and you know i'm humbled by you know everything that's been happening you know our movement is grassroots you know i like i know half and uh, you know that's how you know we we even here now you know just do your grassroots you know y'all doing y'all thing yeah. as well man i i'm just glad to be here you know i'm a fan of hip-hop first so you know i'm a student of the game you know shout out to my cousin dilly you know hey, man, it's up the good. Game. big good. deal it's my good. dog big deal in yeah, the building working, too man working. he introduced me to you you know what i'm saying he 100. said you got to check this dude out man bugs the rocker you know what i'm saying he's like he's, he's from the crib uh, but his music is a little bit different, you know what I'm saying? And I checked it out, and I yeah. was like, okay, like it's not what you would expect from right. what I was hearing from Cincinnati. You know, most of the artists. Yeah. So talk about who have been some of your influences. You know what I'm saying? That that have influenced the way you do music. Of course, uh, Talia Kweli. Right. Um, mm -hmm. You know, big fan of him. Uh, you know, high tech. And, him, and Talib had Reflection Eternal, uh, High Tech, back from the crib, legendary yep. hip hop producer. Oh yeah, we are so, right. High Tech. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. you know that kind of that kind of bridge the gap with that whole situation with Qua, and right. he was kind of tuned in. And I'm like one of the few artists um, that was doing my type of hip hop there. Right. You know, I listened to, of course, the Tribe Called Quest. Q Tip is one of my favorite rappers. Um, then you know I like I like a lot of different influences, not just hip hop though. You know, and I mean I can go. You know, we from the natty, so we listen to everything. You know, from, from the from the 
the real hood gutter music to the intellectual hip hop to I even listen to No Doubt Gwen Stefani uh, Don't Speak is one of my favorite yeah, songs yeah, so yeah, I listen yeah, to it yeah yeah, 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 yeah so you know we, we, I listen to everything so I think that kind of plays a big part into the type of music that I make right, you know yeah. what I mean it's kind of universal and, and sure. it's working so you know I kind of created a situation where other people from the Natty felt like it was comfortable doing different type of music. Uh, you know, a lot of it, our music is kind of like a gumbo, but it's more South influenced. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. it was different yeah. from, you know, us being so close, influenced by the South and being real deep in the Midwest. You know, like somebody coming on a more like East Coast flow. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Being yeah. from where I'm from. So that's yeah. why a lot of people say it's different. You know, I'm just, that's just the type of music that, that's you know, really I'm, comfortable, yeah, it's, it's, I'm comfortable with, you yeah. know, and I, but I listen to everything. It's crazy because you know I listen to 8 Ball MJG and all that too like you know and and a lot of people from down south embrace me too so it's it just it's just a blessing you know yep. what I mean that's yep. what it is absorbed man. tech man <laughs> I, I want to introduce you to the to the fella too you know I always like to give people background on each other because you know when you when you're talking to each other and you, you understand that you know the levels that y'all been through to get to this point to mm -hmm. be talking to each other. True. You know what I'm saying? This brother here was Jam Master J's protege. Wow. You know what amazing. I'm saying? Like, amazing. You know, been in New Definitely. York, been in, I mean, legend. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Legend. This guy's a legend. Yeah. So, you know, he's worked with some other people, you know, like Big Sean. You know oh, what I'm yeah. saying? We were that's talking the homie. about that. Yeah, Talk that's about the homie. that. Yeah, yeah we, did, we just, I, I just seen my homie Big Have. We, we was just in the Natty uh, back home. Uh, me and uh, actually High Tech uh, and uh, Mac Miller, DJ, DJ Clockwork. Yeah. You know, he back from the crib too. We all went to, uh, to the show. Big Sean, you know, his first time going on tour, you know, him and Wale, I was on that tour with him. That's what's you up. Know, you know, I brought him in the Natty and uh, we did some things. So we've been, you know, well connected, you know, you know, no pun intended for a while with them, with them guys. <laughs> I like that. And, you well. know, they leveled up. They leveled <laughs> up quite, quite, quite right, you know. So, right. you know, they, they gave me the call, like, come to the show. So we went to the show, build with them. Um, I work with anybody from like Ninth Wonder. I'm with the Indy 500 regime too, which is Feral Mach and uh, Ninth Wonder and Talib's yeah. uh, thing they got going on. Yeah. Their situation. Yeah. Um, I worked with Little Brother. Fonte is one of my favorite rappers. Okay. I don't. I done, It's a lot of people, man. I done yeah. did a lot of writing for a lot of people. You know, Snoop Uncle Snoop Dogg is a big supporter of me. We just did um, Bunbury 40 50 thousand down back at home. Me and Uncle Snoop and Atmosphere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So you yeah. know, yeah, That's yeah. That was the first uh, hip. Hip hop uh, artist, me and Snoop. Period. But I was the first indie act, um, hip hop act ever to do a, a River Bend and uh, Bunbury Festival. So oh, you know, kind of set trends. You know, Richard Lane. Yeah, pr pr yeah, you know, getting yeah. opportunities for everybody else. Definitely. You know what I mean? And, and you know, from back home, because it was, you know, when I first started, it wasn't really any outlets back home. It's still not a, a lot of outlets, but we creating them as we go. You right, know right. what I'm saying? It's you know? growing. It's growing. So let's talk about the music. You know what I'm saying? Some of the songs, you know what I mean? What are some of your 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 most fan, you know, uh, like songs? And yeah, what are some of your favorite it's, it's, songs? It's, it's crazy because um, mm -hmm. I don't put out, the way I put out my music is not the conventional industry way, but nothing I really do is conventional. Like, you know, so I don't even right. try to go the route that everybody go. Like, okay. when, when I put out a put out music is usually not more of single oriented it's more just like releasing a whole body of work like it's a cohesive body of work when I put out works and that's what people know me for you know conceptual albums and you know what I mean projects even if they mixtapes they sound like albums right. you know what I mean and that's why a lot of people respect me just for the taste level of the um, substance in the bars per se you know that's so like we got rap, we it. got rap oh. we got wrath of Zeus which was with Mac Miller DJ DJ clockwork that was a big one that got a lot of um, okay. overseas love because I had a lot of um, overseas producers on there um, like Taku um, and a couple other people um, right. Bear he's real heavy in the EDM realm yeah um, I know a little bit and, about I, Bear. and I also uh -huh. um, you know Mute Level 5 really kicked off I had Freeway from Philly you know my Philly cats rock with me real oh, hard really? out there uh -huh. so I had Freeway I had Little Brother I had a um, couple Grammy uh, nominated uh, writers and engineers you know helping me on a project as well like Matt Hunterman you know, help me to put the um, sonically, you know, put it together and things. So, you know, they helped me with that. That was a big project for me. Had a lot of features. Sara, which is, um, they signed to Kanye. Uh, they out in the West Coast. They did Erica okay. Badu, New America. I mean, the list goes on. And then right. my, new, my yeah. new project really would got me the situation with Qua. Um, and got a lot of like major label deals was the Scattered Thoughts of an America Poet that I put out with my homeboy uh, Monopoly who here and um, 
We did that, man. We just wanted to put out some good music. Me and uh, Dilly uh, linked me and G up. It was like perfect time, and I had got out of a situation um, that I was in prior. We was just like, yo, I'm putting out this music, man. I, I let them hear it, and we've been rocking ever since, man. And Kuali, uh one day just DM me on Twitter on some random, like, Yo, what you what you doing, yo, young boy? Like, young boy, what you doing? Like, I like, uh, I'm chilling at home. I'm in the natty, man. He, he flew out. He flew from New York. He from Brooklyn, so he, he flew out there. We we met up, and we've been rocking ever since. Just got off the tour with him, and I've been promoting my album. And I, I brought my OG. If y'all familiar, one of my favorite groups that helped influence me from the natty was Mood. Um, oh yeah, and they, yeah, they had the Doom album. Oh yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I, you know, I, wor you, I worked in a record store for like yeah, ten years. Yeah, so. you know, <laughs> fat beats and all ends, that. You yeah, know what I mean? Okay, all that good that's stuff. what's up. Yeah. So you know, I was, I'm, you know, like I said, like you know, I, I went to go get my OG. You know, I'm a student of the game. You know, they they got locked up for really doing what they rap about, but they was lyricists. Like I would, Dante, I always say I'm a good. He just had a love and respect, and that's why a lot of OGs mess with me because I'm one of the young boys to respect. You know, the people before me because you know that's what got me in a situation you know where i'm at you know what i'm saying it got me all my blessings just just being real and you know knowing that you gotta pay homage to the people before you you gotta know your history if you don't right. know your history it don't matter what you're doing like right. you, you and if you ain't you know showing love you know you ain't gonna get it back so you know i went to go get the og and we got a group called space invaders and we about to put out an album on quality label too so i mean, want just about me it's about bridging the gap between you know the, the people who really held it down in the city and, you know, made a mark in hip hop and, you know, the new generation coming along with that and building, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, Hot Tech is executive producing a new album, by the way. Too. Oh, my goodness. Okay. You know, we got Crit on that thing. Boy. We got oh, Big Crit. Big we got, yeah, one we, of my he, favorite artists he just right came, now. He yeah. just came. We just did Forecastle in Louisville. McConan, you know, we were, you know, one mm -hmm. even Tuesday. It was I was like, just I was just in Mississippi down yeah, there. Yeah, he came uh, through. in Big Crit's hometown down there. Crit a real, real yeah, one, like man. Crit a real one, man. You know, it's, it's not a lot of real ones really in the industry, but Crit a real one. He came through and rocked the uh, Forecastle show with us in Louisville. Um, a lot of a lot of cats came through to just check out the show, man. It is like real wild. Like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just, I was humbled and surprised by all of it, man, because I don't, you know, I'm just here just for the love of it. So everything that's been happening just really is a blessing, even being here with y'all. So, definitely, you know. Definitely. Hey, I'm talking to the not, rocker, I don't people. take nothing for granted. You Bugs feel me? the rocker, and like, man. And look, man. Working. And, and also, not only that, man. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously we got a show here, so we got to, you know, kind of get back to it. But I want you to tell the people how they can get a hold of your music. How they can find Bugs the Rocker, and uh, we're going to get down to the music here. Yeah, you can find me um, on, on my official website, uh, BugsTheRocker.com. Uh, that's B-U-G-G-S-T-H-A-R-O-C-K-A.com. Um, and I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and all the, you know, social sites, Snapchat, is just Bugs the Rocker. So you can find me on, on, on all of that. And you can also find me on Quali uh, website, uh KwaliClub.com as well But you know Follow me Buzz the Rock And stay in tune With the movement That's yeah, what it is, is man What's So look up? man I got a joint from you You might not You didn't send me nothing what? But yeah I got a joint from oh, you Clean joint right You great hit On 103.7 yeah. The beat Cause Rockford, Illinois Is listening to Definitely you Definitely listening what so, You know what yeah. I mean They are out there I got a joint called Celebration for us Oh yeah DJ Moxie Monster That's my homeboy yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah yeah I got that joint DJ DJ man Bugs the Rocker man Exclusive. Right now Celebration yeah.
getting exposed, getting reckless, smoking heavy medicine. Hey, that's for all my stresses. Yellow tape in every session. School and music and giving lessons. Put your drink girl watching Jetsons. The chosen one is stepped in. When you least expect it, hey, we be getting higher. Hey, we be getting fire pay. How much love, niggas? You would never stop us. I mean, never, ever, ever, ever.